Hello everybody and welcome! Today, 50 years ago, the Apollo 11 mission landed on the moon and I decided to once again celebrate this historic occasion Okay, who is coming into frame over there? What the? Alright, let's try this again. Well, we are celebrating Apollo 50th anniversary and I took this literally. What I mean by that you'll see a little bit later, but what you're looking at here is my Apollo 50 rocket. It is 275 meters tall and 56 meters wide. The first stage alone weighs more than 6,500 tons, the second stage more than 3,000 tons, and the other stages and the payload, which is the command service module, lunar model, etc., is almost 800 tons. So this comes to 11,006 tons of rocket and a measly 1,725 parts. So yeah, this was a bit of a hassle to work with. And as you can see here, it has a functioning launch escape system. And by functioning, I mean I had some trial runs, and not every one, uh, not every of one of these runs went fine, as you can see here. Well, I mean the capsule is safe. It has to be. It, it's going to house 100 kerbals when it is going to fly for real, and they are quite safe in there. A bit tumbling, but yeah, that's to be expected. Just some minor damage to the facilities. Again! Alright, a bit more fuel, a bit more power and a bit more asymmetrical thrust and we can get this safely off of the rocket. And yes, the parachutes are once again deploying and this is now going to sail down safely. So, launch escape test successful. Let's launch this! Goodbye, tiny little Saturn V. If you may recognize this, this is the Apollo Robo Edition vehicle that I showed to you on the date that the Apollo 11 mission launched. But this here is a lot more massive, as you can imagine. It's also a lot more massive than the original Saturn V. I mean, the original Saturn V was only, only about 100 meters tall, and this is more than two and a half times that, so yeah, I kind of went a bit overboard, yeah, sorry about that. And while this huge contraption flies towards the sky, I have to say this was a bit tedious to uh, finally get to work with. Yeah, let's wait for the stage separation. There we go! First stage is gone. Goodbye, thank you, you have served us well. And now we're headed on our second stage, even further out of the atmosphere and... yeah. Then Kerbal Space Program happened. <laughs> Again! Oh yeah, those are the fun little things you can experience with this game when suddenly things go boom. Again. But in the end with some tweaks and some trajectory adjustments because due to all of these uh, wing panels up front the aerodynamics were completely wonky and caused basically those uh, rapid unplanned disassemblies. Okay, launch tower is no longer needed and let's get our third stage out of there. There we go, goodbye second stage. You've been a bit of a hassle but you have served us well as well. Okay, those of you who may follow my channel for quite a bit, you may know that I'm doing an Apollo special every year because I think this is one of the greatest achievements of humanity as a whole. And today we have even more of that because we have the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 landing. And I've been thinking for weeks, hmm, what could I do for this? Another mission? Realism overhaul? Nah, that's already been done. And then I thought, Apollo 50. 50. Hmm. What could I do with that number? And the idea came to me and you're gonna see in about a minute or two what's, uh, what's up with that. But first we have to do of course the transposition extracting, uh, docking and extracting maneuver. 
Not really extracting, because the fairing is already gone, but you know what I mean. Alright, my Vernier cluster RCS type thingies are firing and we're getting away from our spent third stage. Goodbye, Kerbin. You're now, you're now a lot lighter than before, because now 11,006 tons are gone. Oh well, some of that fell back to the surface, so yeah, it doesn't really count. Anyhow, I have a bit of a confession to make, to be honest. Uh, the vehicle itself would have had 1725 parts, yes, but my computer was not able to fly that. It was not possible. It was simply not possible. The game would crash. It was a nightmare. So what I did, since the payload that you'll see in just a few seconds is about 700 parts alone, I uh, removed the payload, put a mass simulator in there that weighed exactly the amount that the payload would weigh, and then sent that up into orbit, and then re-edited it to get the payload with the 700 parts in there. Yeah, it sounds a bit more complicated than it is, but anyway, the vehicle would work if my computer were not so miserable and Kerbal Space Program would be a bit more performant. Anyways, we are now headed to the surface with our lander module. And now you're going to see what I meant. Yes! We're going to try to land 50, yes, 50 Apollo lander modules. There we go. Engines firing, landing gear extracted, and let's get that tree thing out of the way. Okay, uh, due to the way Kerbal Space Program is working, I was only able to control one of these things during descent. Don't you worry, all the other ones are empty. No Kerbals died during this mission, because as you can see, <laughs> a lot of them would have. Well, or maybe they would have been able to control their vehicles by themselves. Yeah, well, that was a near miss, and boom, we've hit another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many of these are going to survive? What do you think? I really tried to set the thrust when uh, releasing those to a level where I think they would make it to the surface, but that was really just kind of hit and miss, and let's see how many missed. You may have heard already the first impact, so a few of them already died. There are some explosions in the background. Alright, we're getting closer to the surface. Now, this is exciting. Okay, those are way too fast, so... Or I'm way too slow. By the way, some crashes are going to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a landing in a debris field. Alright. Oh! Hey! That looks intact. Whoa! Where does that lander leg come from? And another one! Jumping around like a happy little puppy on the moon. But would you look at that, we would have a selection of ascent vehicles that we could use, should we so desire. Let's have a look at the other one. Hey, even the descent engine is intact over there. I can't believe it. How did that thing survive basically untouched without any control? Interesting. Should I take this and, and send both of them up, and, uh, up to orbit at the same time? Nah. Nah, I'm too scared. Yeah, call me chicken, I don't care. I just, I just want these poor guys to survive. I only have two Kerbals on the moon at the moment, so... Yeah, they, they, they need to survive, so goodbye, moon! And we're headed back to our massive command and service module. Which would be without any pilots, which is, of course, there it is! Hi there! Of course, this would be a departure from how the Apollo missions usually went, but since technology has evolved, this is now completely autonomous with a mighty probe core. And otherwise, we probably wouldn't have been able to fit 100 Kerbals in there, because we, I wanted to have two Kerbals per lander, should I ever land this with 100 Kerbals. Maybe with something like the mod KOS that enables you to control more than one craft or let them run scripted. I don't know, I haven't tried that yet, but hey, maybe some of you one day will. Because yes, I'm going to put this craft up somewhere to Kerbal X for you to download. And now we have our separation of the command module. 
Because our Kerbals need to survive, we have that massive 10 meter heat shield at the bottom. Alright, heading through the upper parts of the atmosphere. Heating up nicely, we already have some discoloration on the fairing as well. But nothing to worry about. Yes, this is going to be fine. That 10 meter heat shield is immense and it can do away with a lot of that heating. So, parachutes deploying now. There we go. And let's see if we survive the landing. Might be a bit quicker than it should be, but um, that heat shield down there also acts a little bit like a landing cushion. Okay, it's gone now, but who cares? And now the Kerbals can get out and enjoy their life. Speaking of enjoyment, I hope you have enjoyed this as well. If you did, give this video a like and a happy celebration for Apollo 50th anniversary. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.